Titles are always a great way to provide a setting for our audience. Animating titles in Final Cut Pro 10 is simple and very user friendly. In today's video, we will be creating this title using the transform tool inside Final Cut Pro 10. The first step is having our desired clip in our timeline. We will then head over to the titles tab and in the search bar, we will type in basic. We are going to drag the basic title on top of our clip in the timeline and we will make sure to leave the title at the exact same length of the clip. Making sure we have the title selected, we will head over to the inspector and we will type in our desired title. We will choose our font and we will set the text to the size we most like. Once we are satisfied with how our title is looking, we will head back to the title tab and select generators. In the search bar, we will type in shape and then we will drag the shape into our timeline in between our clip and our text. Trim the shape to be the exact same length of both our title and our clip. Making sure we have the shape selected, we will head back into the inspector and under the shape options, we are going to select rectangle. I am going to choose black for my color. I'm going to add five for roundness and I will uncheck the outline. Next, we will head over to our viewer. We will click on the transform tool. I am going to zoom out a little bit by hitting command minus and now I can transform the shape to fit around my text. I will use the yellow guides to make sure it is centered and once we are satisfied, we can click on done in the upper right corner. We will head back into our timeline and we are going to select the text and holding down command, we will also click on the shape. Once we have both items selected, we are going to hit option G in order to create a compound clip. You can name the compound clip whatever you desire, and once it has been created, we are going to place the playhead at the very beginning of our timeline. We will make sure we have the compound clip selected, and we will head back to our viewer and once again click on the transform tool. Immediately, we will click on the keyframe in the upper left corner, and we will head over to our inspector. We can see that the keyframes are now yellow, and we are going to click in the scale all number and type in zero. Our title is now gone, but we are going to bring it back. Let's head back into our timeline and bring the playhead forward a bit and head back again to our inspector. In order to create our second set of keyframes, we will now type in 360 for the rotation and we will type in 100 for scale all. If we play the clip back, we can see that we have created our animated title. We can adjust the speed to our liking by selecting our compound clip in the timeline and hitting Control V. This opens up the animation options for the compound clip and under the transform option, we can see our keyframes. I want my title to come in a bit faster, so I am going to bring the second keyframe closer to the first. Feel free to experiment with the speed until you find something you like. Final Cut Pro's transform tool is extremely powerful and it opens up a massive amount of creative options. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you ring that bell. I have a lot of tutorials coming soon. If I can help in any way or if you have any questions concerning the tutorial, please let me know down below in the comments. I would love to connect with you. Keep creating, keep believing in yourselves and I'll see you soon. Peace.